Howdy folks, welcome to our video vlog for uh, the first week of May. Just so you know, I'm taking off for four days of fishing in Lake Placid, Florida for a bass trip. Uh, we're going to fish the lakes Istapoga, June, Lake Placid, Wolf, all the different lakes up there. We'll give you a report when I come back. But right now I just want to talk to you real quick about uh, some basic rigs for fishing the Everglades canals uh, and the small lakes and ponds in our area. Uh, this is fly fishing, and I'm going to pan down and see some of the gear. Um, flies, leader, type of rods that we use, and then fly lines. We like to use the warm water uh, bass fly lines, uh, usually overweighted. So basically, a setup. I like is uh, about a anywhere from a eight seven and a half to an eight and a half foot fly rod four weight five weight six weight uh, you can go larger seven and eight but you diminish the amount of fun you have catching fish because then you're kind of reefing most of the smaller fish in a lot smaller fish in the Everglades there are big fish but the small fish by numbers outweigh the big fish. So anyways, uh, one of the rods and reels that we have here that I really like is a little bug launcher 5.6. It's made by TFO Fly Rods. Uh, it comes with a rod reel line the whole nine yards. It's a little slightly overweighted line on this outfit and uh, it'll help you cast all these bugs. Uh, the bugs that we fish, mostly topwater, um, the muddler here, uh, a little spider imitation. This is a stealth bomber, which is great for peacocks, little poppers, and then of course the grave digger, which is the number one fly out there in the Everglades right now. Uh, an outfit like this will run you about $160. Um, already set up, ready to go. You wanna go upgrade a little bit from there. We're gonna go with like a TFO series rod again. This is a eight foot six four weight TFO Pro 2 series. It's a great little rod for the Everglades. We don't have to cast far. It's short casting. You typically overline by at least one line size so that you can bend it and uh, uh, it's real easy casting in the Everglades. Catching cichlids, peacock bass, largemouth bass, all types of bluegills and, and sunfish and panfish. Uh, great, great fishery out there. If you really want to overkill, you're looking at one of Echo's great bass rods. This is actually a grass, a glass fly rod called the Badass Glass. And it's a six uh, weight rod, eight foot. They come in nine foot, but I like the, the shorter ones. They make them in a, a six, seven, and eight. Uh, great rod for bass fishing. You really feel everything with this rod. The cast is easy because you overline it by one line size and it bends the rod quite a bit and it's a great bass rod. A little pricey, you know, you're, you're bumping up into that 250 to 280 range, uh, not including the reel, but it's a real cool rod. Great rod for saltwater too. Uh, under docks, mangroves, all that stuff, uh, you can do anything with it. So anyways, fishing the canals, it's great fishing. Uh, you can use top water to, to, uh, to flies that go underwater like clousers and uh, just work the banks and edges and you should have fun all right guys have a good day we'll talk to you next week when i cut back from a big bass trip in central florida captain roan out